Okay, good morning, everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. So, market looks higher today. It's making a high right now in the queues. And we're just going to do urban. So, this is the one to watch today, the best one here. I know some of you put this other one. <laughs> I didn't rate it, but you could rate it if you want. I like Urban better. But for some reason, Urban doesn't work. Oh, excuse me. We can flip to this one, but Urban's going to work. Every option is working that I called. Longs and shorts. And the irony is I gave a lecture for an hour yesterday, which I wish I would have taped, and I didn't. Really good lecture in the room, all about lots of things and IBM. And then I looked at it later in the day, and the stock completely fell and did, did exactly what I said after, after I talked about it like four hours before, which is really just uncanny. talk about that when we're done. And the one from yesterday worked huge. Huge. I mean, I'll, we can talk about that too. Set up again. Set up a couple times. I think I looked at this, but I don't think anything's better than Urban. I'll quickly look at it. I don't like these LTDs. I'll quickly look at it. You got me. No, this isn't as good as Urban. So the only way I'm not doing this today is it open if it opens the reverse swooshes. Well, I don't think that's gonna happen. Market very bullish. Be out of this in one move today. Looks like the spy is going right to two, two fifty. Looks like it's going to go right, right to two fifty. Not saying today, but soon. Beautiful day here in New York, finally, but it's absolutely freezing. This is the coldest, coldest June I can ever remember, ever. It doesn't even feel like summer. Can't even go to the beach, it's too cold. Can't go in the water. All right, I don't want to do this with a 30 cent spread, so let's see here. Okay, Urban. Don't have the entry of the stop yet, but watching. I just wait. All right, you have to wait.
Okay, let's see if this holds 17. hold 17. I gave a couple different numbers, but I'm not really going to like this number 17 now. Okay, we can do oh. stop's going to be 1710 66 by 1710. This is not a small stop. It's valid though. 66 by 10. Urban. Here, let's do it. Get in. Get in, get in, get in. Put the stop. This is it. 1710. Here. Woo! Yeah. There, I felt it was gonna do it. Yep, 1710 is a stop. Woo, do, 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 there it is. Felt it was gonna happen. Got in it before I gave you the number, but if you gave it, if you did the number, you're good. All right, where are we going with this? Let's look at the market. And this has not done anything yet here today, but it will. Um, we gotta break 1650. Yeah, we gotta break 1650, and then after that, $16. Here, you can still do it right here. Urban. That broke hard though. Good sign. 1710 is a stop. And if you didn't do it, you can do it right here. No hesitation today for me, although I need a cup of coffee. Uh, let's look for $16. Here, Urban. Did everybody get it? Wow, nice call. I'm going back to bed after this. Did everybody get it? Woo, here we go, under the low, urban, here, wow. Oh, my Lanta, here it is. Come on, go right to $16. Do it, do it, do it. It's gonna go, it's gonna go to $16. Do, 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 do. Here, I hope everybody got it. Twenty seventeen, boy, this is my year. I am on fire this year with everything. Urban, here. Something's in the air in New York. Here, Urban. Something's in the water. <laughs> Green Maverick got it. Okay, if this bounces here, you can shave a little off. I'm gonna hold it because I think it's good. <gasps> And there, okay, this is getting good. Come on, do it. Oh, I don't want it to bounce at all. I just don't want it to. I don't want it to. 21. Hmm. Big fudge is out. He can't take it. Abel's at a half, okay. All right, I'm going to be a little, 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 little patient. <sighs> All right, let's look at the market. today. I didn't get out of any of it. Let's see what happened. 1621. Ooh, this is wild. Who's still in the whole thing with me? I didn't get out of any of it. Ooh, this is wild. Today. 
still think it's fine, but I kind of wish I just would have taken that. <laughs> All right, let's look at this here. Why did that bounce? reason oh, I could have got out of that I didn't think it would bounce there 20 cents from the target I didn't think it was being a pig we're gonna find out what happens. Let's not talk now. Dubods is still in it with me. Journey Woman's out of it all. Oh, where'd you get out of it? Here, actually, you could do it again. <laughs> you could do it again right here, but the stop has to be in the same place. Who would have thought? I could have got out of it, redid it. <laughs> you could do it again. Stop, same place. I, for, I haven't traded this in so long. I forgot how wild it is. And probably I forgot how wild it is because the stock has collapsed in price. In fact, let's look at it so we can hold our conviction. This, I mean, in all the years I've traded this, this, this has never been this cheap. I mean, this stock has absolutely collapsed on top of its own weight. Here, this is fine, but I'm definitely getting out of this anywhere now where it breaks low. This, this stock has gone just down every day of its life. I mean, I don't even remember trading it at this price point. It's so funny, like a more expensive verb, and I remember it being wild like this, but it's funny when stocks trade, it's, it was like Netflix. It was like Netflix when Netflix price collapsed, whether it was worth, you know, 200 some dollars or, you know, 60 bucks, the stock still traded wild and it still was spready as all get out. It's funny, the way stocks trade, they trade that way no matter what the price point and spread too, which is, which is, is it, that's, I mean, it's, I, I forgot, I haven't traded this in so long, how this is wild, it'll work, it'll go down. But I, I forgot for one second that it was wild like this, but it is. And, and I forgot because the price point is so cheap now. Here, Urban, one more push down, and I am definitely taking this. Oh, you're in all of it, Jenny Woman. I thought you said to get out of it. Okay, you're in all of it, Frisco's in it, Debaz is in it. I think this goes to $16 and that's not crazy. And I wasn't being... I wasn't being greedy thinking that. I mean, it looked good, but I'm not gonna sweat about 20 cents here because it is a little wild. Market's gonna hold, I think, somewhere, but where? Let's see. IBM is fine. Everybody should be up in that now. Oh, Chinchilla took it. Chinchilla's out. All right. So now we have to wait for the five minute to break, which I don't know when it happens. 1631, 1630. Here it goes. Urban is fine, but one more push and I'm going to take it because it is wild. It is wild. It's going to hold it. It's going to hold the high. It's going to hold the red. It's interesting how stocks trade the same no matter what their price point is, even when the stocks collapse. I just forgot, haven't played this for a long, long time. Here, Urban. What else did I give the numbers today? I said 16 for the first target, which it will get there. Here, Urban is good. 15.40, $15. Who knows? This could break 16. I don't know if I'll see that, though. Here it goes, Urban, pay attention. Here, Urban, here we go, here we go. We're lucky we had a nice, nice solid week here and it's not earnings season. We're getting good gaps no matter what, people. Can't complain about that. So I don't know where the market holds or what time. I think it does, but I don't know where or what time.
Disciplined dude got out. Did you get out here? Or you mean you got out here? Because if you were going to get out, you should have got out this first big drop. If you weren't going to hold it to the target, you should have got out in here. Otherwise, you stay with the trade. Either you have conviction it's going or you don't. I really feel this is going to get to $16, and I forgot how crazy this trades. You got out in the second drop? Okay. Okay, so the five minute here, which we got to get under, is 30 urban. And again, you could retake it. Stop has to be the same, though, because it's trading wild. It was too fast, but I could have got out. I was. I mean, I had my hand on the button. I was thinking it was going to go right to 16. I, I just, I really believed that it was going to 16. That's the only reason I didn't get out. I, I had my hand on the key. I just really felt it was going to go to 16. But I'm very impatient. It's always better to just get out the first move. And I did say I was going to do that today. I did say I was going to get out the first move today, and I didn't do what I said. hope it doesn't come out to bite me in the butt. I did say that. I said, I'm going to get out the first move today quick. That's what I said. Let's see. Looks good, though. Yeah, Urban, you can do it again, like I said. Let's look at the market. You would not have the market against us. I saw this yesterday. Can you believe this went and fell to the $32 number, the HDS? I mean, I talked about that in the morning. I didn't call play in it. I said this could very well go to 32 today, and it did. I mean, look at that. I mean, this thing is crazy. You could have actually done that yesterday, and it was a... It was a beautiful setup on the 15 minute twice. We were looking for a play. All right, Urban, I'm in and I'm trying to be patient and I'm waiting, but I didn't do what I said I was going to do. I said I was going to go out the first quick play and I didn't do it. It did bounce fast, but I had my hand on the button. It just looked like it was going to go right down to 16. Now I've got to wait. 945, that's okay. Holding weak. Market isn't going over the high yet. I do believe it holds. Even if we close red today, the market is not going to pull in before it continues higher. It's just going higher every second. Big Fudge said, good call. You're welcome. I think you said you were already out. You got out in the 20s, didn't you, Big Fudge? That was a good exit for the fast one. Here, Urban. Was a good call, and I gave you the number, but I took it before it hit because I felt it was going to, and it really did, and it did then. Urban, here we go. This looks great, people. Looks good in the one, looks good in the two, looks good in the 15 minute. Daily looks great. That's why we're doing it. Five minute hasn't hit, but there's nothing wrong with it. at all it's just a pain in the butt here <laughs> is anybody in anything else we we'll have to wait on the urban <clears throat> let's well, call on urban you got out the first drop good luck on the drop thank you The other thing I, I, I'm thinking here, too, is, I, again, I haven't played this stock in so long, and the price point has changed so much. It doesn't move the same as it used to as far as the length of the bars. I mean, this stock used to just rock and roll. I mean, you know, $16 is probably, you know, just the realistic target for this today. I mean, this stock does not move the way it used to. Two, three, four, five dollars It's just too cheap now. Holding urban do or die? <laughs> okay. 
Don't want anyone to die in here from a trade. Although Galahad acts like he's dying some days. <laughs> you can see the range on the daily? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it, it's, I mean, it's small. All right, so here's the market. So we're red right now. 9.47, let's take a look at the overall market. Spy trying to climb over the high hasn't. The Qs did get, you know, get over the high this morning in the pre-market. Let's just see where we actually open. You know, seven cents off the high. Let's look at some of these things. I didn't check if there's any reports out this morning. If anybody knows, you can plop it in the room or I can check in a minute. Well, I guess we're going to see. I might get screwed here, people. I'm losing this. Boy, that would suck. I'm not killing it now. And that would really suck because it's going to be a good week. See where that number was. I I really I, I just didn't have that number written down anywhere. Where the heck is that number? Comey trial going on today. Is that is that why you think the market's not going higher? No, I don't I don't see anything here. So we, we I didn't read it wrong. We have to wait for the five minute now. It never triggered, it never hit, so it's not like it failed, but now we have to wait for the five minute, which I kind of told you earlier, but now the number's different. So every chart in here looks great. Again, we don't trade based on higher highs and higher lows. If we did, we would have killed this trade and flipped it and gone long. That's not how we look at charts, thank God. We would never do as well as we do if we did. But I feel like I wish I would have gotten out this earlier to just have a quick play today. And I did say this morning I was going to get the first drop. I don't know. I just really felt it would go right down to 16. And I don't see 1620 as a number that's a problem area anywhere. But it was an immediate bounce for the quick trade this morning. We don't have the market against us, which is the reason I said I wanted to take a quick trade. So, you know, maybe this finally rock and rolls here into 10 o'clock. I don't know if the market's falling because of Comey or because of whatever. Let's look at IBM. Nothing here. Who got out of IBM yesterday? Looks great, though. Got more than a week left. Did anybody get out of IBM yesterday? You could have got out of it with profit. Gosh, if you added to the trade yesterday, you could have really hammered it. Here, Urban. Frisco is still in IBM. Dubaz is still in it. Oh, IBM or the Urban? I'm lost here. Oh, both. Okay. I could 
go get a cup of coffee till this goes and fall asleep. Does anyone have any questions about anything? There's nothing we can do but wait. You're either out of this with profit or waiting for more. Anyone have any questions about anything or want to go over anything at all? Good solid week. Good solid day here. Fast one or you're waiting. Either way, everybody should be up. So if you can't stick around, you could get out with money right here. If you can, you can wait for the five. Sid, are you out? If you have to go, you have to go. Okay. All right, have a good day. Yep, I forgot how this stuff trades. It's very machine-like. With the tails. Great call, have a good day, you're welcome. Gosh, I wish I would have taken the lecture yesterday. It was such a good lecture yesterday. And then to see IBM do that yesterday, I mean, did anybody go back and look at that and think, who the heck does this girl think she is? I mean, I lectured for an hour about just that chart. <laughs> and then it fell. It we, The whole time I was talking about it, it gapped up and was green. And I talked a whole talk about it. A whole talk. And it collapsed. And the market didn't collapse. IBM collapsed on top of its own weight. Here, Urban, come on! Quick, somebody short 100,000 shares. <laughs> we gotta get under now, 30, 40. Has the Comey thing even started? This hasn't even, probably nothing's happened yet. There's probably nobody's even talking yet and the market is falling, which is really funny. Does anyone have the TV on? I can't put it on, it'll be too loud. Oh, he's on in five minutes. So it's gonna fall into, into the period where he starts talking. <laughs> All right, here we are, we're waiting. Under 45, under 40, Urban. <sighs> oh, Comey was supposed to start at nine. Okay. If you have to go, you can get out here. You're up a little bit. If you can hold it, hold it. We can't lower the stop. Some of you already got out of the whole thing <clears throat> at the low, which was good, actually. Some of you got a good exit on that for the fast exit. Here, Urban. It's going to go. It's just taking forever. All right, let's look here at the market. This, this, this. I figure this would be red today. We'll talk about BABA when when we're done too. Um, I didn't call anything in that. The chart, there really was nothing there. And I hadn't looked at it for a couple of days, but last week I looked at it, there, there was really no read on it. I guess it, it had a, 
it had some kind of report. It had a financial report, I guess. I don't know if it was last night or this morning, which I didn't see it scheduled. So that was the reason for the gap up. So it's clear now that, you know, the, the move up was real, but, and it was for a valid reason, but I hadn't looked at the stock at all this week, to be honest with you. So I didn't call anything in it last week when I looked at it. There was nothing there. Um, but I thought it would fall today on the day, and it did. So there's nothing I can call in that, people. It, it, it fell today, and I thought that it would when I saw it in the gap. If I had known there was a report out, though, it would have been, I wouldn't have called it anyways before the report. So. Okay, I'm still in urban and I'm waiting and, I, and I'm losing patience here, but stops the same place. Waiting, waiting, waiting. The five minute has to set up, which it didn't yet. And then the 15 minute, and they might happen together at 10 o'clock, I don't know. I wish I would have done what I said, which was get out the first quick, fast move, but I didn't. I thought it was going right to $16 and I didn't think I was being greedy by wanting to hold for a little bit more. I hope that doesn't doesn't end up being the wrong decision here. It has been a good week. I'm trying to hang on to this, but we can't lower the stop. Is everybody still in it with me that didn't have to leave this morning? You're, we're all up. We're up in the trade. And I got a good price in this because I actually took the trade before it hit the number, which I don't normally do, but. Galahad's in it, okay. Anyone have any questions? Well, I'm sitting here, we're waiting for this because I don't, I don't know if it goes now or if I'm sitting here, if we could be sitting here in silence for 10 minutes. Does anyone want to go over anything? <clears throat> Green Maverick's still in it. Frisco's in it full. Frisco, for, for a student that just did the class last month, you're doing, you've, you've made a crap load of money. You've more than made the cost of the class back. I, I don't know where you're at with your account, but I know you've made a crap load of money doing the trades and the options trades and the day trades. You're doing extremely well. Suzanne is out, out with more profit? A small profit, okay. Stop 1710 came in, dude. It's, you know, you can't change it. Look how wiggly jiggly this is trading. No, it's gotta be what it is. So I, I forgot about the Comey thing. So I, you know, I said the market's higher this morning. I forgot about the Comey thing. We did gap up. We did make a new high in the queues. The market, because of the Comey thing, could be, it could be wild today. I wouldn't trade this afternoon. We're in this. We're up. We're going to get out of it wherever it goes. And uh, that's it. I mean, I don't know what anything happens today in the market because of that. I completely forgot that he was talking today. And so the market could be wild. Could drop down, could fake lower, could rally up, could go over the high, could close very strange. In fact, how long is that going? Is he just talking today, tomorrow? How long is it going to go on? Does anybody know? I don't know if he'll tell you, but 
Uh, Koala Bear would like to know, Frisco, how much you're risking in your trades. You don't have to say if you don't want to. I don't want to pry, but he's wondering. You don't want to say you don't have to. About 750 bucks a trade. There you go. I will say one thing. He's doing what I say. He doesn't even blink an eye. He just beep, takes the trades. All of them. The options trades and the day trades. He just goes, eh, Melissa, and does them. He doesn't even think. So I think that, you know, it's one of the reasons that people right after the class probably, probably do so well. Don't overthink it. We did have that talk the other day, too. Exactly, Frisco says. Oh, my Lanta. Look at this thing. Hurry, hurry, hurry. So IBM is doing another fake out today. Another fakerama. Looks good though. Looks great. Again, I thought it would gap down and hit through the number, but it was a profitable trade yesterday. You could have got out, and now it's faking around again. Can you believe it, boys? That's a tough one for people to read, unless unless you're me. But what a fakerama today. Look at that. <laughs> What was it, Beast Trader? Is Beast Trader here today? I can't, there's too many people. No, it doesn't look like he is. The, um, he was saying yesterday about the whole talk about IBM, where people trying to suck people into it. Sure looks like it after today, doesn't it? <laughs> sure looks like it after yesterday and today's trading. It sure looks like it. <laughs> He's not here, but it sure does look like it. If those of you that remember the talk yesterday in IBM, Beast Trader was like, did these funds suck people in just so they can flip it around? And I'm like, I don't think so, but it sure looks like it in the last two days. Stock's definitely lower though, but what a fake around. Between yesterday morning and then the afternoon and this morning. <laughs> What are the good things about this? Does anyone want to say, tell me, what's holding your conviction? Are you losing conviction? Let's talk about it. Let's talk it through. 10.04, the longest trade of my life here. Tell me what you think about this. What do you think? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Journey Woman's losing conviction. I think that's the grandmother in you talking, not the trader. You think if it's going to run up, it would have by now? That's what Frisco says. Jabod says it's fine on the day. Therefore, it's a short. What else? What other people? Any other commentaries from the peanut gallery? Here it goes. Five minute on Urban. One more penny. <laughs> there, Urban looks good. Trader Lexi, are you still in it or did you kill it? Oh no, it didn't do it. Here, I'm gonna just stop talking. <laughs> Mum's the word. Here, let's look what we have out for tonight. <sighs> Today is June eighth. Oh, 
Oh, we have paid tonight. That was the one that I was looking forward to this week that I think is going to work in our favor. Again, it didn't gap yet. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. And not really much tomorrow morning. So let's look at pay. Here, tonight's watches. Okay, well, you're in it. You're in it, Trader Lexi. So tonight is only watches pay. It still didn't hit in the five minute. So it still didn't hit in the five minute, and we're waiting. It's rallying. We have to wait for the higher time frame now, the later that it gets, which is the only, the only issue with this is that it has not triggered, but the good thing is that it hasn't triggered. In other words, if this had triggered and failed and continued to rally, that would be a problem. So the good thing is that it is holding and that it hasn't triggered and failed. It just hasn't triggered yet. Lower, again, since the first move down, which, which was where we took the trade and we were in and we were up. Up in this here now, but wanted to get going, 10.07. And market's gonna be very slippery today in both directions, I think, because of the hearing. In fact, we could even, and I'm not saying 100%, depending on what goes on today, and I don't know, it could end up looking very similar to like, either we have a normal day in here or we have a crazy day, in which case we can make a dramatic drop and then close today with a monster tail. So my call today is we close bullish, but the only thing I can say with 100% conviction is that we're gonna close in the market today bullish. We could have a red body, but a tail, or we could hold and be red, but still be bullish, or we could be green. So my, my call for the market today is we hold bullish into the close of the day and follow through maybe tomorrow. So, you know, but I don't know where we go between now and then. We could have a dramatic fall down and then rally into the afternoon with make a big tail or into the close, or we could hold stationary, not really go anywhere, Let's see if we can lower the stop in this. You did puts in this? Okay, that's fine too. Does anyone want to go over anything? Any questions? Here, let's quick look at pay. This is gonna work. It's just it's just taking my whole entire life here and my whole day. Let's look at pay. Um, keep the stop the same in urban. So I like this, if it does something good, which I don't know if it will, but the only decent watch for tonight. Let's try to have a solid, solid play in this today. And then tomorrow if pay works in our favor, we'll close out the week with that. And if it doesn't, we may not be doing anything. But it was a good, solid week. And yesterday's, yesterday's trade just fell off a planet. I don't want to move too much off this urban here because we're in it. But this was, I mean, look at that, people crazy and fell again today i think this trades low volume normally seeing this here volume in this today here urban man it's just gotta just gotta hit All right, so we're, while we're waiting for this to go, does anyone have any questions about any of the options that they're in? And also while we're waiting for this to go, does anyone have any questions about the lecture I gave yesterday? Does anyone have any questions about urban, the market, anything? Ask me now. I'm hoping we can get out of this between now and 1030. That would be a dream.
Expect a bounce in the 30s, though, here before it breaks the low. Maybe I'll just take it out there. Be a wild day. Now, typically, the stock spread the spreads do tighten up as the day goes on. That's a good. That's good. It doesn't it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything that it's going to lift or drop. It just means that it's better for us. But usually, after the day starts going, that does happen. Yes, that's typical. Yeah, those numbers I gave you this morning are out for 15 something. I mean, I think $16 is now a dream, dream target in this year today. The stock's had a big move. It's had a big move already. It's tired. That's why that's why we're falling asleep waiting for it to go. It's just tired. It's got to have more selling there. It's not going to go down. It's not going to go up. So if it's got to have more selling in it. The stock is tired now. It's already had a big move here by 10, 30, 13. It doesn't seem like it, but it has. So... I think one drop in this, I'm just going to take it. I'm realizing that now, seeing, seeing how this is acting. I don't think it goes to 15 anything now. It's too tired. Everybody did it, right? Nobody nobody didn't do it, right? I think everybody did it. I know there was a couple of things people were looking at, but they weren't as good as this. Let's go back and let's see what they did. This was the one. Uh man, this this is a this this did have a move in it. Crappy setup though. Tough. That that was hard to do. Again, I don't like those LTDs. Uh what was the other one you people were looking at? NL and K. Let's look at that. NL and K. Wow, this was this was hardy too. This didn't work right either. Jeez. Yeah, that was coming in hard. So that was an easy read. Markets assisting that to fall, though. <laughs> Homie's on now. Okay. Well, the market's definitely falling for the first 45 minutes of the day here. Urban has no excuses. Here, Urban, 
There we go. Come on. This is it. I mean, this is, I don't care where this goes now. I'm taking it. It's drop, drop, drop. It just hit everywhere now. This is it. This is a trade. 10, 16. Here, Urban. I hope everybody stuck with it. Unless you had to go. Ping the butt slow. Here, Urban. Hand of the butt now. Anywhere it drops. Here, Urban. Now, don't move the stop. We're getting out of this soon. In fact, I'd be fine getting out of this in the 30s or the mid-20s now. Here. Just to be out. This is a nice call. The hard part today was the waiting. If you, if you did the first trade, it was easy. If you, if you waited, that was the hard part in this today. And particularly because the market was falling. You know, when you see the market falling, your stock isn't, is basing, basing, basing. Here we go. Urban under 40. We should just go, go, go. I mean, I'm just giving you ideas. I'm not saying you, you have to do this, but you could take half out if it boops over 50 and then just let the rest ride down with the original stop if you if you want to, if you've been waiting forever like me. Just an idea. I'm just giving you some suggestions here. Whatever you want to do. Frisco got out completely okay. Watching this like a hawk. You know what I did not watch this year? I didn't watch any tennis. I didn't watch the French Open. I don't even know if it's still going on. I don't even know who's playing. I don't even know if it's still happening or somebody won. Does anyone know? I haven't watched, I've been so busy that I didn't watch any tennis. Here, Urban. Here it goes, it just broke 40, Urban. I'm not letting this get over this. Let me just look at this. My hand is in the button here, people. This is my trade. I'm not letting this bounce at all. I'm just letting you know. We'll get it all the way down. Wow, nice. Oh, good job, everybody that stayed with it with me. Good job. Jordy, did you hold it? 
You were losing conviction. Did you stay with it? Here, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not letting it get over 40. I'm not letting it get over 40. I'm not dealing with that. But it looks okay. If you want to be tight, you can put this top at 41. I was bar by barring it. In fact, you could bar by bar it on the five if you want. I just took it. I'm fine. Uh, you could put this top at 41 or 42, whatever you want to do. It looks great. Here, it's going to go. I'm out, though. Couldn't stand it anymore. It has been a solid week. If you're still in this and want to be tight, put this top at 41 or 42. If you want to be out, then be out. If you truly believe this is going to 16, then you're in it and you can't move the stop. But I'm not, I didn't want to let it get over 40. And I'm, I'm not sure if this goes all the way down straight there. And I kind of warned you people, it's going to bounce somewhere in here. Not that it doesn't mean it's not going to keep going to break it. I believe it does. This looks great now. But again, will it now? Will it at 11 o'clock? Will it at 11.15? Nobody knows. We kind of had this talk a little bit yesterday. The market, it, it, the market is predictable. It is predictable to me and stocks are predictable to me. But the timing of things exactly all the time is not predictable. So will Urban go and continue down? Yes. HD, yes. Was it going to go to 32? Yes. Can I, could I predict the exact time of day that and all these things are going to happen? No. I told you how I think the market's going to close. We'll see if I'm right about that today. Do I know the time? Of that? No. You know, these are the things. The market is predictable. But the exact time that everything hits the number, nobody knows. But you don't need to know that. The fact that you can predict it at all is, in fact, amazing. And that's all you need to make money. Because your goal in life is not to squeeze every penny out of a trade and get out of every high and every low. That is not your goal as a trader. Some of you think that's your goal, but it is not. Great patience for you. You didn't think it would get back to 35? I know. Hey, who's still in this? This trade looks amazing. Um, but, I, you know, you really can't lower the stop. I mean... You could put it at 1705, but really that's not much difference. It just was too wild. Unless you want to buy bar bar it. And really, if you're gonna do that, it would just be out. Do bods are still in it? Good. So it looks good though, people. I didn't want to get back over 40. Um I I it, it's gotta break the low, Trader Lexi. It's gotta break the low to go to 16. The one thing that you have going with you is A, this did break early. It's still 1030. It's early. You've got the market, which is not green, at least not yet. So the fact is that yes, this could go to 16 today. You'll have to watch it. You'll have to watch it. It looks like it's going to. But it could slosh around here. Back up again, fake like it's moving higher, then drop and break again at noon. You know, I, this is this wasn't a smooth, easy ride down unless you did the first move, which we did do. I was in it, the first move down. But I'm not going to haggle over 10, 15 cents. So whatever. I'm glad we got it back down and got something out of it. And it has been a nice, solid week. And I've been on point. Um, and even yesterday's gap, I mean, for that to move like it did, pfft. I honestly think you people should do everything that I say, you know. Or call, anyways. Still in half the urban. All right, so here we have the red. Here we have the red. Here we have urban. What was the other one? N L N K. All these things are falling now. Everything's falling but IBM, <laughs> which is hilarious because it still looks great. It still looks amazing. Let's look at Facebook. Anyone have any questions about anything? Nice, solid day. You could have been done in five minutes. Whatever. Tomorrow we'll see what we get. Be very interesting to see what the market does today. Very interesting. Well, Bab is just collapsing. Collapsing, 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 collapsing. Got to run see me tomorrow? Okay. All right. So 
Any questions from anyone about anything? Great example here why you can't go long every bullish gap up. Baba. <laughs> you know, nothing here. Nice move for the stock, though. You know, that's for sure. Any questions, anybody? If not, that's all I have to say today. And if you're in this, then you are looking, you're looking good. You're looking great. You can put this stop at 1645, 1642, 1641. It very well could break 16, could get to 16. I don't know what time, okay? If you've been patient this long, you can suffer right out if you wanna. You, the market's red. Journey women got out too? I think that's fine, because that's what I did as well. Thanks for Urban, you got the first drop. Oh, you were fast today, Mountain Girl. I said I was gonna get out the first quick move today, so I, I should have done what I said, but it didn't matter in the end, but I'm glad I stuck with it and didn't kill it up there in the 50s which I thought about doing simply because the market was red and, and this wasn't falling yet. The stock needed a rest. It needed a rest period. And people do like to buy these things. I mean, there were traders that were buying this in here because it was making a series of higher highs and there were people that were buying this in here to fill the gap. I saw that. It was not institutional buying, but I knew the stock had to sell off more. I knew it wouldn't go back down without selling. And I didn't know if it was going to come in. You know, but it did. Okay. Thanks for everyone. You're welcome. Have a great day, everyone. Be careful. We'll see what we get tomorrow. It's been a solid week. Let's keep it up. June, June, June. Okay. You're welcome. Have a good day.